Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Today is Saturday, so you get an update of what's going on with the shop video. Um, these last between three and five minutes, no more than 10 for sure. So let's get started. The truck's all loaded up because I plan to take it to test and tune. For those who've been watching any of my videos, you know that it has a four, it, I have changed the gear from a 430 to a 456. It's lightweight axles, it's lightweight gear too. To really see if it's gonna pick up. The best weather so far I've ever experienced is happening right now. Um, so let me explain. They had a test and tune session planned for yesterday and then also for today. But the weathermen here flat out suck because they said uh, the rain's gonna come in between six and 11 yesterday on Friday. So I had loaded up the car with the hopes that I could try doing the test and tune today. What happens between, I think 12 and three or four. Well, anyway, last night, because the rain was going to for sure come in, they said, I didn't even try to take the track out, truck out. I mean, it was all loaded. Could have easily have done it. Nope. It did not rain at all last night, even though I'd watched the weather four hours beforehand. Anyway, um, doesn't rain last night. Well, today, guess what? It, yes, it was supposed to rain, but it was supposed to end about 10 a.m. So the track might have been dried out so that we could race today. No. It's still sprinkling right now. The rain has not stopped, so they canceled test and tune. Now they do have Midnight's Night, which that's more of a street crowd, street car crowd. And I've never been to a Midnight's, but I'm, I've only been to where a test tune led into the Midnight's. And that's kind of weird because it's a different crowd altogether. So it's not the best. However, the air is so amazing today. It's probably the best air I will ever experience at least to October, and I've never had air this good. We're talking like air temperatures yesterday were 91 and the humidity of bazillion percent. And I can say that because it's been brutal because right now the PGA is here in Tulsa at Southern Hills for their golf tournament, or as I call it, uh, fetch for adults because it's boring. I don't know why people complain about the heat going to a race, but they stood out in the heat, stood, not set, to watch people hit a ball and then walk to it and then hit it again. Uh, I can... I, uh, I hate golf. But anyway, if you love it, whatever. And also my wife's like, it's extremely hard. Yes, it's extremely hard. There's a lot of things that are extremely hard that are boring to watch. Just saying. And also, I just don't get it. The tickets were $200, by the way. $200 to stand in the heat to watch it. <sighs> anyway, getting back to this. So the air is the best. So the air sucked for many, many days. And it will continue to suck. This is like the one fluke. And it's like perfect air. And anyway, the air was supposed to be, today is in the 50s. So this will be the best the truck has ever had a chance to run. So maybe I'll go to midnight just to see it run. If not, Keith's also got his, Keith's the guy that worked with me. You've seen Dino that 350 engine for his pure stock. Well, he's running today as well in Salina. And they'll probably have that race tonight. And I've thought about if I don't race, I'll go see, see his or vice versa, hopefully. But anyway, that's the update on the S10. I really would like to go because I think it's going to run its best times um, at possible now. The rest of the stuff, let's just go through the, some of the stuff in the shop because I'm running a long time here. I can see here's the next heads that are in the process to get done. I've done two intake manifolds today, this week, so I didn't get to these. Um, they're both AFR 305s. I'll be starting reporting on those probably today um, working in. But that's what's next. As far as videos for tomorrow, I don't have a clue. I've got stuff recorded, but I'm going on vacation in two weeks, so I'm kind of holding stuff back. But I did record this one yesterday. These are a set of Vortec 906s heads. That's an excellent video, but it's only five minutes long, so I'm hesitant to even do that one for tomorrow. So I try to give you a really good one on Sundays. Although that's pretty good, I will say, but it's only five minutes long. But anyway, let's go on to the next thing. I wanted to show you guys because people keep asking. I was comparing that Vortec head to this one. This is what people keep asking, and I'll get through this as quick as possible. Next step. All right, on top of the trailer here. Several people have asked, um, have you ever done the water ports for the Brodix Dragon Slayers, or how do you run them? So the S10 actually has that, so this may drag a little longer, but I'll show you. So I've got my flashlight, and I'll narrow the beam. Let me show you. So this is a Mazir water pump. For the record, these suck. They're insanely expensive and they leak. Um, that is so angry with this thing. So this is like 600 bucks. But see that weep hole? There's one on the bottom that still leaks. And I'm talking to him to have this a year. Now what I had to do, so I'm going to show you. I had it right there where the light is shining. You can see a fitting that's drilled there. And I tapped it and it's got a 6 a.m. line. That line, so the water comes in through the pump. 
it comes out here and you trace that line around and it goes right there into the head right where that light shining you see it yeah i had a drill and tap at the bottom right there and the brodix headhunters actually have a little divot there for you to do that and that water goes through there right through the center because you have your two exhaust ports here it comes through there and it actually comes out right here where that light shining which let's just do this side there it's easier to see there it's on this side too there it comes out of the head because that's where that hole is on the head that's already tapped a lot of people just plug that now if you notice i got a fitting and it looks like where does it go from here well it goes down and actually comes back up through my here so this is for one side and that's for the other side you see them that one and that one so these are coming that way so in other words water comes into the pump down into the head through the exhaust port out through this back into the water neck now there's another one too the back to front ones a lot of them have this you see this line there at the back and so you have water it comes through the back and back through the front right here and each side has that and that's how the water was ran sorry this video went a little bit longer but i want to show you guys that because people keep asking in order for you to do that however you just have to, you do have to tap that bottom several circle track cars i know of because they have the robotic spec heads actually don't ever put that one instead they just run the one up from the top and over which you can do that but this gives you even more cooling the catch is most pumps don't have that so you got to drill and tap some of the aluminum um, mechanical ones do so there's your only other thing sorry this video went a little bit longer you guys take care remember i'm no superman